19 centimeters of tsunami at 706. 19 centimeters of tsunami at Soma port. And in Ibaragi prefecture or Arai port, tsunami of 50 centimeters. In Katsura, 30 centimeters of, of tsunami at 706. 60 centimeters of tsunami has been already observed in Onahama Prefecture 649. In Soma, ha, tsunami of 19 centimeters, Oarai Port 50 centimeters tsunami, Katsura 30 centimeters tsunami. And please evacuate immediately. And tsunami will come repeatedly. And tsunami will come to the inland. Therefore, please evacuate. Right away, please evacuate immediately if you to the higher ground, and if you cannot find the higher ground, please go up the higher buildings. At 7.06 in Soma Port, 90 centimeters of tsunami has been observed, and this is really a powerful tsunami of 90 centimeters, well, because tsunami is a kind of a, a collected item of the water, therefore it has a, such a strong destroying power, so a tsunami of nearly one meter has a, such a strength. Therefore, the first thing is to evacuate. So, because there are two monitoring posts in two places in Fukushima Prefecture, therefore, in Soma and also in southern part in Onohama, around 60 centimeters to 90 centimeters of tsunami, that it's tsunamis of around one meter, and also in Ibaragi Prefecture, we all seeing out tsunami. Therefore, the first thing is to evacuate. And also in Chiba area, tsunami has been observed. Therefore, if there is any tsunami warnings that have been issued, please evacuate right now. Tepco says that at the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant of the number three reactor, uh, the water cooling system seems to have stopped. Uh, Tepco officials are trying to confirm the situation. In this, more than 2,500 spent fuel pods uh, are being kept at the spent fuel pool in Dai, Fukushima Daini's uh, nuclear power plant. And the water cooling system uh, seemed to have stopped at the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant, and officials are trying to confirm the situation. Uh, 2,544 uh, fuel rods are being kept at the spent fuel pool in the third reactor of Dain Fukushima Daini. In the Soma port, uh, a 90 centimeter uh, tsunami has been observed in Oarai in Ibaraki Prefecture. 50 centimeter tsunami was observed, and in Katsura of Chiba Prefecture, 30 centimeter uh, tsunami has been observed. Uh, the tsunami waves could repeatedly approach the shore, and the tsunami height could become higher as they repeatedly wash ashore. So please make sure that you evacuate to higher grounds. Now already, um, tsunami waves have been observed, so people must evacuate to high grounds. Yes, and we are hearing information about uh, the tsunami height. However, uh, these are heights observed at the observation points. Uh, the actual tsunami height, when it reaches the shore, could be quite higher. And already, the tsunami height is close to a meter. Uh, therefore, uh, please understand that this is a very serious situation and evacuate to high grounds and the power could be powerful enough to wash people away yes uh, the tsunami waves are really powerful and it will rush ashore very speedily if you are caught in the tsunami wave, you may be washed away. Therefore, just make sure that you move away to high grounds and make sure that you are safe and remain there until the tsunami warnings or alerts have been lifted. And it is quite chilly uh, and it may be very difficult, but we really do hope that you keep warm. Uh, please call upon your neighbors and remain safe, please remain safe.
Once again, a magnitude 7.3 earthquake struck Fukushima Prefecture on Tuesday morning local time. The Japan Meteorological Agency has issued a tsunami warning. A tsunami warning for the coastal areas of Fukushima. The estimated height is three meters. They have also issued a tsunami advisory for prefectures in northeastern and eastern Japan. They expect the tsunami height to reach one meter in those areas. Anyone in those areas should listen to local authorities and disaster management officials for information and instructions. The JMA is calling on people in the area where the tsunami warning is issued to leave coastal areas or riversides immediately. The agency is telling them to evacuate to a safer place, such as high ground or an evacuation building. You are looking at video of when the earthquake struck at, or rather, this is a live shot of Oarai Port in Ibaraki Prefecture. That, that is the situation there at Oarai Port in Ibaraki Prefecture. The agency is telling people to evacuate to a safer place, such as high ground or an evacuation building. Tsunami will hit repeatedly. Do not leave evacuation areas until the warning is cleared. We'll bring you the latest details as they come in. Once again, a magnitude 7.3 earthquake struck Fukushima Prefecture on Tuesday morning local time. The Japan Meteorological Agency has issued a tsunami warning for the coastal areas of Fukushima. The estimated height is three meters. Right now, you are looking at a live view of Oarai Port in Ibaraki Prefecture. The Meteorological Agency has also issued a tsunami advisory for prefectures in northeastern and eastern Japan. They expect the tsunami height to reach one meter in those areas. Anyone in those areas should listen to local authorities and disaster management officials for information and instructions. The JMA is calling on people in the area where the tsunami warning is issued to leave coastal areas or riversides immediately. The agency is telling them to evacuate to a safer place, such as high ground or an evacuation building. Do not leave evacuation areas until the warning is cleared. We'll bring you the latest details as they come in. Here we have video of when the earthquake struck at Onahama port. The meteorological agency says it observed a 60 centimeter tsunami at that port of Onohama at 6.49 a.m. Japan time. Fukushima Prefecture says nuclear plant operator TEPCO reported that it observed a tsunami at 6.34 a.m. Japan time. The prefectural office has no details of damage or the height of the wave yet. We now go back to our simultaneous interpretation of our domestic broadcast. So from the, there have been backwash and also there have been changes of the sea current. So it seems this is a backwash. Therefore, there is a concern that tsunami might hit this area. In Onohama port, we have observed 60 centimeters of tsunami at 6.49. And information, our Prime Minister Abe, Prime Minister Abe held the press conference in Lima. I have just heard that we have observed strong earthquake of Fukushima and the tsunami warning have been issued to Japanese people. I would like to 
I have all four informed and I have made an order to provide necessary information to the Japanese public and also to gather the information about any kind of injuries or damages. And we are going to devote ourselves in order to provide the support for the efforts for the rescue. And also to Mr. Suga, the cabinet secretary, I had ordered to make appropriate measures to this earthquake. And we are going to have a close collaboration and we are going to make appropriate measures in order to cope with this disaster. Uh, Mr. Suga Cabinet Secretary is going to hold a press conference around 7.30. So from 7.30, Mr. Suga is going to hold the press conference. The observed tsunamis are as follows. In Soma port, 706, 19 centimeters of tsunami. In Onahama port, 60 centimeters of tsunami at 6.49. Oarai port, 50 centimeters of tsunami at 7.08. In Katsura, 30 centimeters. In Ishimaki, 30 centimeters. 7.06 and 7.04 relatively. In Onhonato, in port, 30 centimeters of tsunami had been observed at 7. And tsunami will come repeatedly. New information and the expected height of tsunami had been revised upward. Tsunami is going to come. Therefore, please evacuate immediately. There have been additional tsunami warning in Chiba Prefecture, in Uchibo area, and also in Izu Islands. Tsunami warning have been already issued. The expected tsunami height is around one meter. There is additional issuance of tsunami warnings in Chiba and also in Izu area. Fukushima Prefecture, in Fukushima Prefecture, we expect tsunami had already arrived. Additional information about tsunami warnings. In Chiba Prefecture in Uchibo area, tsunami issues have been warned. Warning have been issued in Fukushima, Iwate, Miyagi, Ibaragi, in Chiba Prefecture, Kujukuri. And there are tsunami warnings that have been issued around along the seaside of Fukushima Prefecture. To 68,000 who are the residents of the Fukushima Prefecture have been already announced to evacuate, and they have been ordered to evacuate. And also in the Kashima Park and also in the Memorial Hall of the this local area, there are around 70 people coming. And in Fukushima port, 90 centimeters of tsunami. And also in other areas, we have observed the 60 centimeters of tsunami in Onahama port. Please remember that Great East Japan earthquake. Please evacuate immediately to high ground. During the Great East Japan earthquake, People have been swallowed by the tsunami waves because they have returned to their homes after evacuating once. So please do not return until the warnings or alerts have been released. This is Owarai Town in Ibaraki Prefecture. We are now showing live footage from the town. As of 7.08, a 50 centimeter tsunami wave was observed at this port. And we continue to speak to our desk. Um, can we read anything from the screen here? Well, we do not see any tidal level changes, of, but 
at the port, a 50 centimeter tsunami was observed, meaning that water uh, has washed ashore. Therefore, uh, please make sure that you remain evacuated on higher grounds and please try, do not try to return to the shoreline. A little after 7, a 50 centimeter tsunami was uh, observed at Oarai Port. And 50 centimeters may seem rather low. However, the first wave of tsunami was just several uh, tens of centimeters high. And already tsunami waves are arriving along the shore. And it is could become very dangerous. So the tsunami height just because it seems like a low tsunami please do not think it's safe make sure that you evacuate and do not return to low ground until the warnings or alerts have been lifted and the chief cabinet secretary will be holding a news conference soon as of 708 in Orai port a 50 centimeter uh, tsunami wave has been observed and as of 649 a 60 centimeter tsunami has been observed in Onahama port and we are hearing about tsunamis reaching the shorelines in many areas please do not go close to the shore and please remain evacuated on high grounds and we hear sirens ringing at Onahama Port, Iwaki City, Fukushima Prefecture. We can see the water moving back and forth. And a new information in Tateyama City, Chiba Prefecture, as of 7.13, a 30-centimeter tsunami was observed. And also in Ayukawa of Ishinomaki at 7.20, a 30-centimeter tsunami was observed. It seems that the water level is rising from 30 centimeters. So it shows the red arrow indicates that the tide level is rising from 30 centimeters. So please make sure that you have evacuated. And so in Ayukawa of Ishinomaki, the tide level is rising. And as of 7.13 in Tateyama Chiba Prefecture, a 30 centimeter tsunami wave was observed. And from the nuclear power plant at the third reactor of Fukushima Daini, the water cooling system has stopped and water circulating to cool the fuel pool has stopped. However, the water within the uh, uh, spent uh, fuel pool um, is enough to keep the spent fuels cool. So the water in the pool is enough to keep the fuel, the spent fuels cool, and therefore it is not going to create a dangerous situation immediately. At the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant in the third reactor, the water cooling system that supplies water to the spent nuclear fuel pool has stopped. However, the water in the pool is currently enough to keep the fuel uh, cold. Uh, and so there is no immediate danger at the nuclear power plant. TEPCO says that the spent fuel pool at the Fukushima Daini third reactor, uh, the water system that supplies cooling water has stopped. Um, right now, the uh, water temperature is 27 degrees, and the uh, temperature will not rise to dangerous levels uh, for a while. And in Yane in Hachijo Island, a 30 centimeter uh, tsunami wave was observed. And in Tateyama Chiba Prefecture, as of 7:13, a 30 centimeter wave was observed. And in Ishin in Iwaki Ayukawa, we have observed tsunami of 30 centimeters at 720. However, as you can see, the red arrow, the tsunami's height will go up. And also in Hachijojima, the Yayende, uh, 30 centimeters tsunami has been already observed. And we'd like to talk with Mr. Honda, who is near the Ishinomaki. 
Mr. Homo, are you ready? So we are giving you the information of the tsunamis in Soma port. 19 centimeters of tsunami at 7.06 on Nahama port. 60 centimeters of tsunami at 6.49. 50 centimeters of tsunami at Oarai at 6.708 in Katsura. 30 centimeters of tsunami at 7.03. 30 centimeters of tsunami in Yonhunato around 7.08 in Tateyama, Chiba Prefecture, 7.13. However, in Ishinomaki, Ayuhakawa, 30 centimeters of tsunami has been observed at 7.20. However, the red arrow indicates that tsunami height will go up. And also in Yaene of Hajijojima, the 30 centimeters tsunami have been observed. Tsunami will come repeatedly and also we would like to warn sometimes the second and also the third waves of tsunami will likely to become higher than the first wave. And uh, above the Kesenuma in Miyagi Prefecture, we are going to have a report from the helicopter. And this is the Kesenuma city in the Miyagi Prefecture. As you can see, this is the Kesenuma port. And we would like to take a look at how the sea is. From above, we are not observing any changes. And before arriving at this place, the roads were serving normally because the traffic lights were on and also the lights were already on. And from above, we are not seeing any changes. Ogiwara-san? So the area that we are observing because they are still having a construction after the grid is Japan earthquake. Yes, as you can see, there are some, as you can see, there are some uh, <coughs> materials in order to provide protection from the waves. Is there any changes in the city areas? And this area, as you can see, the reconstruction work is going on. So on the other hand, far away from the sea, it seems that the cars are running as a normal day. And also, we are not seeing any kind of abnormality in the traffic lights. So, can we take a look at how the sea... So, um, in Miyagi Prefecture, the tsunami warning have been issued. Yes, on the right-hand side. So, you are all flying above the Miyagi Kesenuma port. So, you are not seeing this kind of... Uh, Countering sites for the shells. But in Ishinomaki area, the tsunami has been observed. Therefore, there is a concern that tsunami might reach Kesenuma area. Therefore, you need to be very cautious, isn't it? Yes. So, from above of Kesenuma port, we have not seen any big wave coming to Kesenuma port. However, we need to be very cautious. If there is any change, please inform us. This is a live shot of Kesenuma city of Miyagi Prefecture where the tsunami warnings have been issued. There have been observance of tsunamis in local areas. So we are going to have the press conference by Mr. Suga.
Today at around 5.59 off the coast of Fukushima, a strong earthquake hit the area, registering an intensity of 5 minus. And a tsunami warning has been issued in Fukushima and from Aomori to Chiba Prefecture along the Pacific Coast, tsunami alerts have been issued. And in Fukushima, a tsunami wave as high as 90 centimeters has been observed. We hope that people living in areas where tsunami warnings or alerts have been issued would evacuate quickly. So far, at the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant and the third reactor, the water supply uh, for the water cooling system uh, has stopped operation. However, there are no concerns of sudden rises in the spent uh, fuel pool or radiation leaks. And so far, uh, no abnormalities have been identified at other nuclear power plants. Based on this situation, as of 6.17 this morning, the Prime Minister has called upon people to make sure that um, accurate information is issued to the residents and the, uh, we will cooperate with the SDF to carry out rescue operations um, in areas where it is needed. Uh, we, the Prime Minister has instructed us uh, to uh, do that. I have received a telephone call from the Prime Minister directly. The government, right after the earthquake hit, has established a task force and a liaison office within the cabinet office, and based on the tsunami information, we have issued uh, warnings, and we have the director generals of the agencies involved to carry out necessary measures. We will continue. To, to capture information about any damages so that we can swiftly move on to take counteractions. And I'd like to call upon the people that since um, tsunami warnings and alerts have been issued, if you are living along these areas, please evacuate to safe areas. And also, in areas that had felt a very strong quake, please make sure that you have the latest information on the earthquake. And that is all from myself right now. That was a news conference by the Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga. Here's what we have so far. A magnitude 7.3 earthquake struck off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture in northeastern Japan at 5.59 a.m. Tuesday local time. Japan's meteorological agency says a short while ago a 90-centimeter tsunami hit the port of Soma and a 60-centimeter tsunami hit the port of Onohama. Both are on the coast of Fukushima Prefecture. There are reports of minor injuries. The tsunami warning for coastal areas is still in effect. The agency says the wave could reach three meters. They have also issued a tsunami advisory for prefectures in northeastern and eastern Japan. Anyone in those areas should listen to local authorities and disaster management officials for information and instructions. The JMA is calling on people in the area where the tsunami warning is issued to leave coastal areas or riversides immediately. The agency is telling them to evacuate to a safer place, such as higher ground or an evacuation building. Here is video of Onohama Port in Fukushima, or this is live, a live view of Onohama Port in Fukushima. Tsunami will hit repeatedly. Do not leave evacuation areas until the warning is cleared. We'll bring you more details as they come in. Once again, a magnitude 7.3 earthquake struck off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture in northeastern Japan at 5.59 a.m. Tuesday, local time. Japan's meteorological agency says a short while ago, a 90-centimeter tsunami hit the port of Soma and a 60-centimeter tsunami hit the port of Onohama, both on the coast of Fukushima Prefecture.
There are reports of minor injuries. The tsunami warning for coastal areas is still in effect. The agency says the wave could reach three meters. They have also issued a tsunami advisory for prefectures in northeastern and eastern Japan. Anyone in those areas should listen to local authorities and disaster management officials for information and instructions. The JMA is calling on people in the area where the tsunami warning is issued to leave coastal areas or riversides immediately. The agency is telling them to evacuate to a safer place, such as higher ground or an evacuation building. Tsunami will hit repeatedly. Do not leave evacuation areas until the warning is cleared. We'll bring you more details as they come in. Fukushima Prefecture says nuclear plant operator TEPCO reported that it observed a tsunami at 6.34 a.m. Japan time. The prefectural office has no details of damage or the height of the wave yet. Here is video of Fukushima Daiichi during the quake. Japan's meteorological agency says it observed a 60 centimeter tsunami at the port of Onohama, coastal Fukushima prefecture at 6.49 a.m. Japan time. We now go back to our simultaneous interpretation of our domestic broadcast. So, the one meter of tsunami has been observed. So, as I have said, one meter of tsunami has already reached this area. Therefore, please evacuate immediately. In order to save your life, please go to high grounds. If you cannot find any higher grounds, please go to places which is far away from the sea line. Please evacuate immediately. Don't go back and please inform the neighboring people to evacuate. Therefore, please evacuate right away. And also in Sendai Port and also in Iwate Prefecture in Kuji, 80 centimeter of tsunami in Sendai and also 80 centimeter of tsunami in Kuji around 7:25 and 7:37. As you can see, this red arrow is indicating that we are going to observe higher tsunami. And this is the coastal area of tsunami of Miyagi Prefecture. The tsunami warning has been already issued. And the live shot is the Ishinomaki of Miyagi Prefecture in Ishinomaki Ayukawa. 80 centimeters of tsunami had reached at 739. However, red arrow is indicating that we are going to observe much higher tsunami. So there have been already tsunamis are reaching the wider area. The Fukushima first nuclear plant and also the second nuclear plant in Fukushima areas. There hadn't been any damage of tsunami and also the earthquake. However, for the second nuclear plant, the third reactor, well, because there is so-called the spent nuclear fuel pool and therefore the cooling system for this fuel pool has been stopped. And according to TEFCO, the temperature is 28.7 right now for the, the spent nuclear fuel. Therefore, it hadn't reached the upper limit of 65 centigrade yet. This cooling system for the spent nuclear fuel pool has stopped, and there is a strong concern about this. But right now, they are not able to find the cause of this uh, disruption of the cooling water system, and there is a concern that the earthquake had caused this stoppage. And the temperature rise, it is gradually and slowly rising.
And according to the internal rule, there is a limit for the operation, and the upper limit is 65 centigrade. And at 610, the temperature right now is 28.7, and per hour, there will be an increase of 0.2 centigrade. Therefore, it takes around seven days or maybe around one week in order to reach the upper limit. And also, the level of danger, the third reactor, there are 2,544 spent nuclear fuel loads in this cooling pool, in the third reactor. However, this is the spent nuclear fuel, and therefore the water temperature will rise gradually. However, we do have a room for a week, and therefore we need to recover the cooling water system in order to keep them cool. And according to the nuclear agency, we have received a comment from the nuclear agency. And yes, they have received the same information, and the temperature rise is gradual, and they are going to have more cautious approach in order to maintain this level. The cooling water system has stopped. Do you understand the cause, as I have said, or because they are not able to find out what caused the stoppage of this cooling water because of the strong earthquake, then this nuclear fuel pool may be shaken and therefore there is a message tank over there and maybe this tank or the third tank has stopped. So maybe there is a change in this search tank for the nuclear fuel, spent nuclear fuel pool. And this is a live shot that have been conducted by the SDF of the nuclear plant. Is there anything we can learn from this footage? Well, so far, it doesn't seem that we can see any effect of a tsunami or that the buildings have been affected in any way. Uh, the footage does not show any signs of changes, and we do see the ocean at the top side, and we have heard that a one-meter high tsunami uh, has washed towards the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. So what is, what, what is the effect of the tsunami waves? Well, so far we do not have details, but uh, we, the, the precinct where the power plant buildings are, uh, it is higher uh, than, of course, the water levels, and therefore I believe TEPCO are trying to confirm uh, the safety of this area and we do see tanks um, right now in this footage and it does not seem as if the tanks have been affected in any way. And we see uh, vehicles uh, running in the area. So let's now uh, look at the situation. As of 6.50, the cooling system for the spent fuel pool in the third reactor of Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant has stopped operating. Uh, the Nuclear Regulatory Agency says that so far the cooling water has not leaked out and TEPCO are preparing to resume operation of the cooling system within an hour or two. The third reactor at the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant, the cooling system for the spent fuel pool has stopped. Uh, there was an alert and uh, the water supply has stopped. However, the Nuclear Regulatory Agency says that so far no abnormalities have been observed, such as uh, cooling water being spilled out or leaking, and TEPCO are now preparing to resume operation of the cooling system. And this is footage taken by the SDF 
along the Fukushima Daiichi nu nuclear power plant. Uh, we cannot confirm whether the waves we see are tsunami or ordinary uh, sea waves. This is footage taken by the ground self-defense force along the Fukushima Daiichi. And we have been reporting that Fukushima Daini, uh, excuse me, has uh, observed a one meter high uh, tsunami wave. This footage right now is looking at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. We see the, the foams of the ocean, uh, the white foams. Uh, however, we do not know, uh, we cannot confirm whether this is tsunami waves or it's just ordinary waves. But still, tsunami warnings have been issued. It still remains. Uh, this is footage taken along the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Uh, the footage is taken by the Ground Self-Defense Force in Tohoku and in Chiba Prefecture also. Uh, tsunami waves have been observed. And we cannot confirm whether tsunami waves have washed ashore close to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. But in Soma port, as of 7.06, a 90 centimeter tsunami wave has been observed. In Ayukawa of Ishinomaki, 80 centimeter wave was observed and the tide level is rising. In this footage has been taken by the SDF and we are looking at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. This is live footage taken by the Ground Self-Defense Force. And we continue to speak to our reporter, Mr. Kutsukake. Uh, what can we understand from this footage? We do not see any damage um, on the buildings. Um, we cannot cite any damage so far. And the, the reactor buildings are built on a ground level that is 10 meters high from the sea level. And also, uh, an embankment has been established along the coast. Therefore, uh, it should be protecting against tsunami waves. And this is a live shot taken by SDF, and this is a live shot of TEPCO's Fukushima first nuclear plant from Iwaki City from Fukushima Prefecture. I would like to talk with Kadota-san, a cameraman. Mr. Kadota? Yes, I'm in the Hisanoma Chichiku in the higher ground and also we are able to watch the sea and we are not observing any changes of the sea level yet. And this is the evacuation site for the Iwaki city. As you can see, after the issuance of tsunami warning, there are people who had evacuated. As you can see, the fire department are already here to watch. And there are some people who are trying to walk to the higher ground. As you can see, the center of the screen, as you can see, there is a signage of the source, and also we are able to watch the traffic lights are working as normal. And in the front part, in the center part. So this is a national highway number six. And on the left hand side there is a residential area and on the right hand side we are able to watch the sea and we are not able to see any kind of wave changes. 
And in the Great East Japan earthquake, this is the area where the tsunami had made、uh, devastated damage. So they are trying to build the wall in order to prevent the waves. From Hisanoma Chiku from Iwaki. This is a report from this Fukushima prefecture. So we are able to see those people who have evacuated. It is very cold outside. Therefore, please try to wear the warm clothing. And this is the breaking news. The third reactor of the second nuclear plant of Fukushima. The cooling system had stopped for this、uh, used nuclear fuel. fuel. However, the TEPCO has announced that they are able to restart the cooling system pump. And this is a pump to exchange the water for the cooling water system. And until now, they are not able to find any kind of abnormality. And now they have to restart. And they have restarted the cooling system for the spent nuclear fuel pool. Therefore, the pump has restarted and they are able to start the cooling system. So, after the earthquake, so the pump had stopped automatically. Therefore, after an hour and a half, the cooling system had restarted. However, the cause is not clear yet. And I think that if Is making a full research in order to find out the cause of the stoppage. So, if we get the new information, we are going to give you. As you can see, the tsunami warning has been issued around the Fukushima prefecture and also in several areas. Therefore, please evacuate immediately. Tsunami has been already observed, and there is a concern that much higher tsunami will hit the areas. So, tsunami will come around for two, two times or three times. Therefore, please inform the other people and also the neighboring people in order to give them information that there has been a tsunami warning that has been issued. So, let us report on the tsunami information in Fukushima. Tsunami waves have been observed, and the meteorological agency says that、uh, higher waves could be observed going forward up until 7 in Soma as of 7:06. A 90 centimeter tsunami was observed, and in Onahama at 6:49, a 60 centimeter tsunami wave was observed. And in other areas, higher waves could have hit. The tsunami wave estimate is three meters.、Uh, please make sure that you have evacuated to higher grounds. It is 8:02 in Japan, Tuesday. At 5 59 a.m. local time, a magnitude 7.3 earthquake struck off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture in northeastern Japan. Japan's meteorological agency says a short while ago, a 90 centimeter tsunami hit the port of Soma. And a 60 centimeter tsunami hit the port of Onohama. Both are on the coast of Fukushima Prefecture. There are reports of minor injuries. The tsunami warning for coastal areas is still in effect. The agency says the wave could reach three meters. They have also issued a tsunami advisory for prefectures in northeastern and eastern Japan. Anyone in those areas should listen to local authorities and disaster management officials for information and instructions. JMA is calling on people in the area where the tsunami warning is issued to leave coastal areas or riversides immediately. We are now looking at video of Sendai Airport taken during the quake. This is video of Sendai Airport during the quake. We can see the camera shaking. The agency is telling people to evacuate to a safer place, such as higher ground or an evacuation building. 
tsunami will hit repeatedly. Do not leave evacuation areas until the warning is cleared. Fukushima Prefecture says a one meter high tsunami hit the coast next to the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant at 6.33 a.m. An update from officials is expected shortly. We're now looking at live video of Onohama port in Fukushima. This is live video of Onohama port in Fukushima. We'll now go to our domestic services with simultaneous interpretation. 大震災の際、多くの方々の避難場所となりました。今日もすでに数人の人たちが避難してきています。This is an area where people have evacuated to during the Great East Pan earthquake. Several people have evacuated here and a man said that he felt the quake when he was trying to ride his car to go to work. And he remembers the Great East Pan earthquake. He said that it was very scary. That was from Ishinomaki in Miyagi Prefecture. In Ayukawa of Ishinomaki, as of 7.39, an 80 centimeter tsunami wave was observed and the tide level is still rising. So even along the coast where tsunami alerts have been issued, Waves as high as a meter has approached the shore, so please stay away from the sea. From Tohoku all the way to Chiba and Izu Islands, tsunami alerts are issued, and in Fukushima, tsunami warning is being issued. And already, tsunami waves have washed ashore, therefore, please stay away from the shorelines. This is Ishinomaki in Miyagi Prefecture. As of 7.39, an 80-centimeter tsunami wave has been observed, and the tide level is still rising. Tsunami may wash ashore repeatedly, and the second wave or third wave may be higher than the initial waves. So if you live close to the sea, please do not return home but evacuate to higher grounds. The tsunami waves may wash ashore and rush up slopes. Please be informed on the latest. Please utilize radio or the one segment broadcast on your cell phones and the meteorological agency is now ready to start their news conference. As of 5.59 this morning, a strong earthquake hit off the coast of Fukushima and there are tsunami warnings and tsunami alerts being issued. I would like to first explain about the warnings and alerts. The magnitude 7.3 earthquake that hit as 5.59 this morning in Fukushima uh, tsunami warning is out and tsunami alert is issued all the way from Aomori down to Kujukuri and Sotobo of Chiba as well as Uchibo and also to Izu Islands. So please make sure that you evacuate away from the shorelines and stay away from rivers as well. Please make sure that you have evacuated to high grounds or tall buildings. The tsunami waves may arrive repeatedly along the shore, therefore please remain in safe areas. And also in areas where the tsunami alert has been issued, the sea as well as the shorelines may be very dangerous. So if you are close to the shore, please move away. And the current may move very speedily. So. Please do not enter the sea or get close to the shoreline while the tsunami alert is out. An intensity of 5 minus was observed and if in areas which has observed a very strong uh, earthquake, え、それでは、え、地震についてのご説明をいたします。
、えー、地震が起きた場所は福島県沖の深さ25キロ、えー、これは暫定値です<笑>、えー、地震の発震機構地震が起きるメカニズムですけれども、えー、北西南東方向に潮力軸を持つ西断層型です、えー、この地震によって最大震度5弱の強い揺れを福島県白川市<笑>えー、須,須賀川市、国見町、鏡石町など16の市,、えー、市町村で、えー、観測しておりますそのほか東北地方を中心に北海道から四国地方の一部にかけて、えー、震度4から1を観測しました、えー、その下、えー、と防災上の優柔事項は先ほどご説明いたしましたので、えー、津波の観測状況ですえー、22日のおあ、えー、本日の7時半現在、えー、岩手県、宮城県、福島県、茨城県、えー、千葉県、九十九里外房、千葉県内等で、えー、津波が観測されております、えー、津波のお観測状況、えー、次の資料でご説明しますが、えー、今のところ、相馬で 0.9 メートルというのが一番大きな値になっております。えー地震活動の状況としましては、えー、7時半現在で震度5弱が、まあ、あのこの地震ですけれども1回観測されているほか、えー、震度3が3回、震度2が7回、震度1が7回発生しております、えー、地震活動が活発な状況が続いています。えー、この地震による緊急地震速の発表状況ですけれども地震の検知から 16.5 秒後に、えー、緊急地震速報の警報を発表しております、えー、それから、えー、と防災上の留意事項の追加になりますが、えーまあ、今後の地震活動についてですけれども、えーまあ、まだ津波警報注意報発表中ですのでまずあの現在の津波に備えていただくのが一番なんですけれども、えー、今後の見通しとしましては今後1週間程度はまだ、えー、同規模の地震に注意ということで最大震度5弱の地震でなおかつ海の地震ですので今回のように津波をとのまう可能性。はいはいえー、と今、えーと、宮城県の、えー、津波の警報に切り替えが、えー、発表されました、えー、津波注意報でしたけれども津波警報に、えー、切り替えら、えー、れました、えー、と津波警報が発表されているところでは津波による災害が起こりますので、えー、繰り返しになりますが沿岸部や川沿いにいる方は、えー、直ちに高台や避難ビルなど安全な場所へ避難してください。津波は繰り返し襲ってきますので警報が解除されるまでは安全な場所から離れないようにしてください、えー、説明を継続します、えー、資料の、えー、2ページ目が、えー、津波警報注意報の発表状況今、えー、と宮城県に津波警報が発表されましたので、えー、とこれそれの一つ前の状況となりますけれども、えー青森県から伊豆諸島まで津波注意報警報が発表されておりますこれにこの宮城県が現在津波警報に切り替えられております次のページが津波の観測状況です東北から関東地方の沿岸にかけて各地で津波が観測されていますえー、現在最大のものは、えー、相馬の 0.9 メートル、えー、それに次ぐものとしては、えー、い,わきいわき市小名浜の 0.6 メートル大洗 0.5 メートル、えー、大船渡、石巻、鮎川、えー、桂市と,、えー、と 0.3 メートルのは観測、えー、各地で観測されております。でえー、と観測されている津波の波形です、えー、と各地で、えー、津波と思われる波形が観測されております、えー、最初の波は引き波で始まっているという状態で、えー、津波が観測されて現在も継続しているという状況です。次、えー、この地震による、えー、震度の観測状況です
、えー、福島県を中心に、えー、と震度5弱の強い揺れ、えー、そこから、まあ、遠く離れるに、えー、かけて、えー、とだんだん、えー、震度が小さくなっていますけど震度4、3とあの広い範囲で揺れが観測されております。この地震の今、震度の観測状況を示しましたが、えー、と推計震度分布図です、えーとまあ、震度観測点以外の揺れを推定したものです、えー、と福島県の沿岸部を中心に、えーとえー、割と強い揺れを示す、えー、とオレンジ色の部分が、えー、あちこちに点在している状況が見ていただけるかと思います。それからでこの地震のメッド方向にこの T と書いてあるのがあの張力というテンションを示しているんですけれども北西南東方向に引っ張る力が働く西断層型の地震と考えられます。ちょっと上げてみます西断層型ですので、まあ、こういうふうに引っ張る力が働いてこういう断層運動が起きるというタイプの地震です。でえー、と断層の動きが、まあ、上下方向に大きく出ますので、えーとまあ、あの津波を発生しやすいタイプの地震ということになります。でえー、と今回の地震の発生した領域はあのご存知のように平成23年の東北地方太平洋沖地震の余震域内で、えー、発生しております。今回の地震の発生した場所はこの辺りになりますで、えー、この領域の、えーまあ、2011年からの震,この震源域の地震の活動状況の時空間変化を示したものですけれども今回がまあ M7.4 という M7 クラスの地震で、えー、と昨年2015年は M7 クラスは起きていなかったんですけれども、まあ、その前を見ていただくと大体頻度としては1年に 1, 1回程度その M7 クラスの地震が起きております。<笑>岩盤ですね。Prefecture. For those of you just joining us, a magnitude 7.4 earthquake struck off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture in northeastern Japan at 5 59 a.m. Tuesday local time. That's a little over a couple hours ago. Japan's meteorological agency earlier said the quake was magnitude 7.3. It is now 7.4. It says the quake's epicenter was at a depth of 25 kilometers. There are reports of minor injuries. JMA says a short while ago, a 90 centimeter tsunami hit the port of Soma, and a 60 centimeter tsunami hit the port of Onohama. Both are on the coast of Fukushima Prefecture. The tsunami warning for coastal areas is still in effect. The agency issues such a warning when there's a possibility a wave could reach three meters. They have also issued a tsunami advisory for prefectures in northeastern and eastern Japan. And はい、携帯20です。
Roads or riversides immediately. The agency is telling them to evacuate to a safer place, such as higher ground or an evacuation building. Tsunami will hit repeatedly. Do not leave evacuation areas until the warning is cleared. Once again, a magnitude 7.4 earthquake struck off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture in northeastern Japan at 5.59 a.m. Tuesday local time. Japan's meteorological agency earlier said the quake was magnitude 7.3. It says the quake's epicenter was at a depth of 25 kilometers. There are reports of minor injuries. JMA says a short while ago, a 90-centimeter tsunami hit the port of Soma and a 60-centimeter tsunami hit the port of Onohama. Both are on the coast of Fukushima Prefecture. The tsunami warning for coastal areas is still in effect. The agency issues such a warning when there's a possibility a wave could reach three meters. They have also issued a tsunami advisory for prefectures in northeastern and eastern Japan.